hello everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for a story time from my big blue couch. My name is Amanda and I am one of the storytellers at the Ann Arbor District Library and it's so good to see you here today. Are you ready for some stories and songs? I am. Let's bring out Mr. Knickerbocker. There he is. Can you show me your two hands? Can you make a beat? Mr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker number nine. I just got back and I'm feeling fine. So let's get the rhythm of our hands. Now we've got the rhythm of our hands. Now let's get the rhythm of our eyes. Now we've got the rhythm of the eyes. Now let's get the rhythm of our hips. Now we've got the rhythm of our hips. Now let's get the rhythm of the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You want to do one more? Okay, ten. Oh, you know, you're right every week. Ten claps is just what we need. But hey, after ten big claps, look what my hands can do. They can open and shut. I think we know a song about that. Let us open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. No way. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Just like this. Really fast. Rolling faster, faster. 100 miles an hour. Faster, faster, faster. And roll them really slow. And wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah. Wow. Thank you for joining me in our little warm up songs. We are just about ready for stories, but whoa, did you notice this giant orange shape is now on our board? Let's find out what came with the banana mail and see if it explains what this is all about. All right. Look, banana mail. Banana mail, 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 banana mail. I think I know what's inside today. I think we have inside is a a pizza. No. Maybe it's a pair of pajamas. No. Oh, I know. Roller skates. No. Do you think I should just? Open it and see what's inside. Oh, what's that? Yes, of course. Of course, let's see what's inside. It's, it's, it's. Oh, <laughs> it's a letter. Let's see what letter came today. Whoop, there it is. Oh, look at that letter. What letter is that? It is red. We've got a big red letter. This letter is letter N. And letter N says N. Mm. It says its own sound. Mm. N is for noodles. We love buttered noodles. Noodles. Never. Neverland. No. New York. Neck. Necklace. Negative. Any other good N words? Any N names like Nancy or Nicholas? N is a good word. What about? N is for when you cover your ears because things are too loud. We call that noise. I think we should do some noisy stories today. Not too loud. We don't want to hurt our ears. We want to talk about noise. Things that make noise. If you clap, that's a noise. If you snap, that's a noise. I've got my, what is this? A bike horn. That's a noise. What about this noise? A whistle makes a noise. 
They are all kinds of nice noises like singing, la la la, maybe not that song. Um, I think we should go with letter N <clears throat> for noise and we should figure out what is going on with this orange thing. I believe this orange thing is actually a bed. It's too big to fit on my little home felt board, but we've got a bed here. This is a story about a very squeaky door. Once upon a time, there was a grandmother who was putting her two young grandchildren to sleep. She snuggled them into bed. and She said, okay, if I leave the room, are you two going to be scared in this big bed all by yourself? And those two kids said, oh no, Granny, not us. So Granny went to leave the room. She turned off the lights, click. She closed the door, squeak. And the kids started crying, Wah! Grandma burst back into the room and she said, oh my dears, here, why don't you sleep with the kitty cat? That'll keep you company. <sighs> now, if I leave the room, are you two gonna be scared? And the kids said, oh no, not us, Granny. Good. So she went to leave. She turned off the light, click. She closed the door, squeak. And the kids and the cat started crying, Wah! Grandma burst back in and she said, oh my dears, what are we to do here? Why don't you sleep with the dog? The dog will keep you company. <sighs> Everyone sighed. And Grandma said, now, if I leave the room, are you two going to be scared? And what do you think they said? Oh, no, Granny, not us. <sighs> Good. Good night, my loves. And she kissed everybody. Good night. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. She even kissed the dog. She went to leave. She turned off the light. Click. She turned the she shut the door and the door went squeak and the kids started to cry. Mwah! Grandma came back in. Oh my dears. Hmm. Here, why don't you sleep with the pig? The pig will keep you company in this big bed. <sighs> now, children, if I leave the room, are you two gonna be scared? Oh no, not us, Granny. So she kissed the boy and the girl and the dog and the cat and even the pig. Good night. And she went to leave and she turned off the light. Click. She closed the door. Squeak. And everybody started to cry. Grandma came back in and she said, oh my dears. Let's see here. Why don't you sleep with the horse? The horse will keep you company. <sighs> now, if I leave the room, are you two going to be scared? And the kid said, oh no, not us, Granny. Good. And Grandma kissed the dog and the cat and the pig and the boy and the girl. And she even kissed that horse. It was slimy. Good night, my angels. And Grandma went to leave the room and she turned off the light, click. She closed the door, squeak. Everybody cried, wah. Everybody jumped up, whoa. They jumped and the bed broke. Grandma came back in, oh dear. She got her tools out and she fixed that broken bed. She put her grandchildren inside of it. She got her tools back out and then she oiled that squeaky door. And she tried it open and closed. It didn't make a sound. And she said, okay, my grandchildren, are you two ready for sleep? And they said, yes, granny. Now, if I leave the room and leave you in this big bed, will you be scared? And they said, oh no, not us, granny. Grandma turned off the light Click. She closed the door and all those kids fell to sleep. The end. And that is the story of the squeaky door.
an old classic story time story that we love telling at the library and at story time. Thank you for joining me for that one. Are you ready for a little song before we will move on to our next story? I am. Can you show me a two hands? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle them so. Put your elbows to the front, put your elbows to the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Let's do it again, but a little bit faster. Hands out. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle them so. Put your elbows to the front, put your elbows to the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Do you think we should do it one more time, but really fast? I think we should move this bed out of the way. All right, that's better. Hands up. Supersonic, are you ready? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle them so. Put your elbows to the front, put your elbows to the back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. <laughs> I got confused on that one. <laughs> it looks like wings, doesn't it? Oh, that was fun. All right, well, I've got another story for us that is also very noisy, but noisy in a story time sort of way. In this story, I love to tell this story, and it's from a book, and it is called too noisy. Once upon a time, there was an old man named Peter, and Peter lived in a very old house. And sometimes old houses make noises as they settle in. Well, Peter was hearing noises all the time. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves on the roof went swish, swish, and that tea kettle went hiss. And Peter said, oh, it's too noisy. What am I going to do? I know. I will go ask the town's wise woman. She'll know what to do. So Peter trudged up the hill to her home, and he said, hey, my house is too noisy. The bed creaks, the floor squeaks, the leaves on the roof go swish, swish, and the tea kettle goes hiss. What can I do to make it quieter? And the wise woman said, Peter. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you came to see me. You know what you need to do? To make your house quiet, get yourself a sheep. Peter was confused. A sheep? What about it? Oh, Peter, do as I say and you will see. Get yourself a sheep. So Peter did as she said. And on the way home, down the hill to his home, he got a sheep. And he got home. And that sheep said, bah. And the bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves on the roof went swish, swish, and that tea kettle went hiss. And Peter yelled, it's too noisy. Can you try that with me? Can you yell like Peter? It's too noisy. Oh, good. So Peter went back up the hill to the wise woman and he said, listen, you told me to get a sheep and it's loud. What do I do? <clears throat> and she said, ah, oh, Peter, do you know what you need to do? You need to get yourself a cow. Bring a cow into your home. A cow? What is a cow going to do? Ah, oh, Peter, listen. Get yourself a cow and you will see. Okay. She was the wise woman. After all, he had to do what she said. She knew best. So on the way home, down the hill, he got home and he brought a cow inside of his home. And while the, the sheep said, bah, and the cow said, moo, and the bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves on the roof went swish, swish, and that tea kettle went hiss. And Peter yelled, are you ready? It's too noisy! Ah! Oh, he was getting upset. He went back up the hill to her house and he said, excuse me, you are wise and I did as you said, but my bed is creaking, the floor is squeaking, the leaves are swishing and that tea kettle won't stop and those animals! And she said, ah, oh, Peter, I know what you need to do. When you go back home, you need to bring a chicken inside the house. What? Get a chicken? Oh, Peter, bring home a chicken and you will see. Oh, well, Peter did as she said, and he went all the way home and he brought in a chicken. He brought the chicken inside. And can you guess what's going to happen? The sheep said, bah. the cow said, moo. The chicken said, bah, 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 bah. And the bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves on the roof went swish, swish, 
And that tea kettle went hiss. And Peter yelled, it's too noisy. He was even more upset. He trudged back up the hill to her house and he said, I got a chicken that's still too noisy. They're squeaking and creaking and hissing and swishing. And she said, oh, Peter, I can see you are getting upset, but I know what you need to do. You need to get yourself a donkey. A donkey? But what is a donkey going to do? Peter cried. <gasps> Peter, I am the wise woman. I know. Get yourself a donkey. Bring it inside your home and you will see. Peter was confused, but he was too tired to think of anything himself. So that evening on the way home, well, he brought home a donkey and he let it inside the house. And the bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves on the roof went swish, swish, and that tea kettle went hiss. The sheep said, bah. The cow said, moo. The donkey said, eeyaw, eeyaw, eeyaw. And the chicken said, bah, 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 bah. And Peter yelled, are you ready? It's too noisy. So Peter, he raced up that hill and he banged on the wise woman's door and he said, ma'am, please, it's so noisy. There's so many animals in the swishing and I'm, I'm helpless. Please tell me what to do. She said, ah, Peter, you're doing great. Do you know what you need to do to have yourself a quiet home? Please, please tell me I'll do anything, Peter cried. And she said, ah, Peter, do you know what you need to do? You need to get yourself a cat. Peter said, what? A cat? But what about, ah, Peter? She said, Peter, get yourself a cat and you will see. <sighs> Peter was tired. On the way home, he got a cat. And he brought it home. He let it inside the house. And while that cat said, meow, and the sheep said, bah, and the cow said, moo, and the chicken said, bah, bah, and the donkey said, eeyaw, 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 and Peter yelled, it's too noisy. He was upset. He trudged back up the hill. He burst through the wise woman's front door and he said, okay, I've done everything you said. I got a sheep and it says ba. I got a cow that says moo. The chicken won't stop balking. The donkey with its eeyaw and the cat with its high-pitched meow. I've got squeaking and creaking and the leaves are swishing and the tea kettle's going hiss and I've done everything you told me to do and it won't end. What do I do? Peter, Peter, settle down. What? do I do? He couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. He, he flipped his lid. And the woman said, Peter, you have done well. Do you know what you need to do? Peter, when you go home, open up the door to your yard and let the cow go. Let the sheep go. Let that donkey go. Let the chicken walk right out and let that cat go. Let them all go. What you told me to get ah, Peter, do as I say and you will see. Oh, this better work. Thank you. And Peter left and he got home and he was very confused because she told him to get all the things and then I got the things and it's not working. He calmed down. He walked to the back door and he opened the door. And pretty soon, the cow walked out. And a little while later, the donkey walked out the back door, and pretty soon, the sheep left. And after a little while, that cute meowing cat walked out the back door. And last but not least, ba -ba, the chicken left. There were no animals left inside the home. <sighs> Peter sat down on a chair in the kitchen. <sighs> he sighed a big sigh. There's no mooing, no crying, or noises and no meowing. The bed creaked and Peter said, ah, what a nice noise. The floor squeaked. Peter said, oh, that's a nice noise. The leaves on the roof went swish, swish. And Peter said, ah, what a pleasant sound. And the tea kettle went hiss. He said, oh, what a lovely sound my kettle makes. My tea is done. And he sat down with his tea and he said, ah, what a quiet house I live in. The end. <laughs> and that is the story of Too Noisy with Peter and all of his animals.
his house seemed quieter because he brought in a lot of extra noises and then he let those noises go and then the old noises didn't seem very noisy anymore. That lady was smart. Peter knew just what to do. All right, I've got a little moving around song for us. If you want to, if you're still sitting, please stand up. This is a marching song and you're going to march left and right. I'm going to sit on my couch and march, which is kind of silly, but here we are. You ready? The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb. And they all go marching down to the ground, get low to the ground, to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, the ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four, the little one stops to shut the door. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. And the ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, the little one stops to dance the jive. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. And sit back down while you're down there. Oh, that was fun. I always loved reading that song. I haven't done that song in a while. Well, friends, I've got one more little rhyme for us before we have to end our stories today. This is a little rhyme about some robots. Who loves robots? I do. I've got some robots. Now, these robots, they're special robots because they've got shapes on their belly and they are noisy. Let's see how many we can have up here. We've got one noisy robot, two, Three, four, five. Five noisy robots. <clears throat> and it's a little rhyme, and once you know the words, please count and sing along with me. But let's make a beat. Five noisy robots in the toy shop. Five noisy robots with their ten on the top. Along came a girl with a penny one day. She bought a noisy robot and took it away. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. Four noisy robots in the toy shop. Four noisy robots and ten on the top. Along came a girl with a penny one day. She bought a noisy robot and took it away. How many left? <clears throat> One, two, three. Three noisy robots in the toy shop. Three noisy robots with an ten on the top. Along came a girl with a penny one day. She bought a noisy robot and took it away. One, two, two noisy robots in the toy shop. Two noisy robots with an ten on the top. Along came a girl with a penny one day. She bought a noisy robot and took it away. How many are left? One. Oh no. One noisy robot in the toy shop. One noisy robot with an ten on the top. 
Along came a girl with a penny one day. She bought a noisy robot and took it away. How many are left? Zero. The shop owner is going to have to order more of those noisy robots. That's a bit, I don't know how this sounds at home, but it's very loud in my house. <laughs> All right, well, friends at home, all you cats and dogs and chickens and lizards and koala bears, are you ready to do a knees up, Mother Brown? To end our stories, I sure am. We've got our board here. And if you have not done knees up, Mother Brown with us before, you are sitting down and our little dog is dancing. And then when our dancing dog dances on the board, you can get up and dance, dance, dance too. Oh, should we say hello to the dancing dog first? Can you say hello? Hello. All right, now he is ready. He loves to say hello first. Let's start with our girl from France. There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, middle of the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. There was a man who wanted to go to bed, but all the noises in his house rattled his head. And the only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, middle of the knees up, knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. <clears throat> Well, the kids said they weren't scared, but good thing Granny was there. And the only other thing that they could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, middle of the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. Think about dancing dog. We will see him next time because now it is time for his good old pal, who? The teeny tiny man. What does the teeny tiny man love to do? Dance, dance. Let's do our last round. There was a teeny tiny man who loved to do handstands. Let's see if he can do one. Are you ready? Oh, so close! And the only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Woo! Knees up, Mother Brown. Wee! Knees up, knees up, middle of the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Faster! Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers. Wave them all goodbye. Friends at home, thank you so much for joining me for a letter and stories all about noise, noisy, noisy, squeaky, creaky. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.